For pdhnow.com news, I'm Heather. What counts as professional engineer continuing education? States license professional engineers to protect the public. Professional development helps the PE stay current with technology and professional, managerial, and ethical standards. The specific requirements for PE professional development hours and continuing education will vary for each state. This video provides generic guideline for the professional engineer. Give us a call for specific questions related to your state or reference the guidance on our website licensing page. You can search state by state to see what each state's guidelines are. Licensed professional engineers are required to protect the public. Professional development helps the PE stay current with technology and professional managerial and ethical standards. In most states, the PE is required to complete a specified number of hours of professional development, PDH, in each licensure period. Licensees must keep records of PDHs and documentation to prove attendance if audited. Typically, licensees must keep records for three years. PDH activity must be reported on the PDH activity log when required. Most states do not pre-approve PDH courses. However, there are some exceptions. PDH courses should be relevant to the practice of engineering and may include technical, management, and ethic topics. A good guideline for choosing acceptable courses are any qualifying course or activity with a clear purpose and objective which will maintain, improve, or expand the skills and knowledge relevant to the licensee's field of practice. Visit pdhnow.com, give us a call, or send us an email at info at pdhnow.com for more details. We'd be happy to review your state licensing requirements with you and develop the most efficient and affordable plan to satisfy your PDH requirements.